house of freedom. 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 house of freedom. freedom. A man's yeah. life will move in line with his thoughts, change his thinking, and his life will change. This is DHM TV. Um, remember, we always say in this program, it's Freedom Point. We always say in this program that uh, nobody is created to fail. And so, refuse to be intimidated. Refuse to, somebody once said, that nobody can make you inferior without your, com without your, com without your consent. So you need to agree to be inferior for somebody to make you inferior. You must understand that you are so valuable. And if you were not needed on earth, you would never have been born. Yet I'm not, I'm not a, a medical person. But I learned that uh, during the process of conception, uh, I mean, the, the man produces close to five or six million, uh, is it sperm or egg or, or whatever, that uh, it's just one that we end up becoming a human being, which means about four point something million we just go by. So which, which means that uh, for you to become a human being, for you to make it at all, uh, to become a human, human being is because you are vital, it's because you are important. So you must begin to build your self-esteem. There are many people today, I have a friend who is, is close to me. Uh, if you see him, I mean, he told me once in a while that I should look, uh, you need to pray with me because I'm always timid. It, 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 anyway, he finds himself, he, he just makes himself to be looking so, so inferior and so timid. Now people begin to see him that way. You know? So you must learn to build up your self-esteem. You must have confidence in yourself. The, the church always teaches about faith, and you must have faith in God. But I tell you the truth, if you have faith in God and you don't have faith in yourself, you will end up messing up. You must tell yourself, I can do it. I, I read a story, about the, I've read the gift of the hands, I've seen, I read a story about the oppressions and the rest of the two, on the two. Uh, you, you begin to see some level of boldness, some level of courage, some level of believing in yourself. Before you go at all, embarking on any project, tell yourself you can succeed. Because you see, success and failure begins from the mind. Begins from the mind. In Genesis chapter 11 verse 6, God himself was speaking. And he said, you cannot, there is nothing we can do about these people. There is nothing they cannot achieve if they put their mind on it to succeed. God is talking about we humans when they were building the Tower of Babel. He said, there is nothing, nothing at all that they want to do that they will not succeed at if they fix their mind on it. Your mind is powerful of all the invisible energy that's operating in the human body. The mind is the greatest. The mind is the greatest. The mind is the connection between success and failure. The mind is the bridge between the spirit realm and the physical realm. You must understand that the mind is in the soulish realm. And all your decisions, they are product of the mind. All the decisions you make in life, they are factored. They, they, the mind is a factory. The, I mean, the mind is a factory to where decisions are made. And you must also understand, according to the Bible, that you are what you think about yourself. That's why I said, as a man thinketh in his heart, so he is, so even in Proverbs, he said something. He said, life and death, they are also product of the thought. The extent to which you go is a function of your mind. So right from the inside, you must begin to develop this energy that you are going to succeed. Right from the inside, you must speak to tell. You must speak to yourself. You must tell yourself, "I will be something in life." You must tell yourself, "I must be something in life." No matter what the society is saying, I have a friend some time ago that came to me and said, "Do you know how much a bag of cement is? That bag of cement is over three thousand naira." I looked at him and out of anger in my spirit, I told him, "I said, when bag of cement was three naira, three kobo, did your father build a house?" So the issue is not about the bag of cement. The issue is that you accepted defeat already. For about 40 days, Goliath was threatening the, the, the Egyptian, I mean the Israelites. The generals, Saul, general, all the generals in the Israeli army, they were threatening for 40 days by a giant called Goliath. For 40 days, the generals in, in, in the army of Israel, they went into hiding. And, and uh, Goliath said, let's bring just one man. I don't want more than one. Bring one man to me. Let us fight. And if I defeat him, you will serve us. If he defeats me, we will serve you people. Nobody could come out. Or the trade giant, what was Goliath using? He was using words. It was the words that Goliath was using that defeated the armies of Israel. They didn't fight. No strength. These words, I will destroy you. I will cut you with my sword. And all of a sudden, those words came into their mind, the mind of the Jews. 
And before you know what was happening, they became jelly. They became jelly. They became so scared that they were running away. But there was a man that shot his mind. I don't know what the government is saying. I don't know what your friends have told you. I don't know your family background. Maybe somebody tells you you don't have a helper. You are from a poor home. I've seen people from poor home that rose to become great in life. I've seen people from rich home that depreciate and they became extremely poor in life. So where you are coming from is not as important as where you are going to. And so you must make up your mind. You must succeed on the inside before you are able to succeed on the outside. If you are sitting on the inside, there is no way you can walk on the outside. If you are defeated on the inside, the Jews and the Israeli army were defeated on the inside until a young boy came, a 17 years old boy came, who had no training with gun and artillery and the best weapons of war. He had no training. He was just a shepherd boy with a large heart. And he came and he heard the threat and he said, no, it's not possible. And he said, who is this uncircumcised Philistine? that is defiling and insulting the armies of the Lord God of Israel and going to fight him. They turned back and they looked at him. The boy made up his mind that he's going to fight him. And Goliath began to speak. That's why you see, no matter what anybody says about you, I've always said in this program, it is not what you are told that affects you. It is what you believe. Don't bother about what people are saying. If you know where you are going to, people will always mock you. But if you stand your ground and you are moving forward, and you refuse to bother about what they say, the same people will come back and respect you when you are able to discover your potentials and begin to make use of the talent that God has placed in you. And Goliath told David, was very angry when he saw David coming, and he said, the army of Israel, why do you bring this kid to me? I'm going to destroy him. I will cut off his neck. I will feed him to the birds. And David looked at Goliath, and David responded, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to cut off your head. And I'm going to give it to the birds. As at that time, David had no cutlass in his hand. He had no knife in his hand. But he said he's going to cut off the neck of Goliath. Remember, Goliath was a giant. An extremely, extremely huge fellow. By the end of the day, the confidence of David was so much. He killed Goliath. So you must have confidence in your ability. I've seen too many who believe they cannot do it. When you hear them speak, you will know they will never succeed in life. You know, you hear such things as I cannot make it. The economy is bad. I'm not from a rich home. I don't know how to do it. My friend, there is nothing that you cannot achieve if you make up your mind to succeed. God himself will fight the battle. God will defend and help anyone who has made up his mind to succeed. So the question we want to ask, the question of you we want to ask you today, have you made up your mind to succeed? Are you sure? You really want to succeed or you are among the multitude on earth that are just existing just existing or you want to make a name for yourself you want to make a name for your generation you want to leave a legacy behind like thomas edison like like steve jobs like michael faraday you know you want to leave something behind you know like the legend in football like king pele yeah, like like Messi. what do you want to leave behind you must be bold and approach your destination and in conclusion, let me say this. You can never get to your destination except you have a goalpost. It's impossible to score a goal without a goalpost. The year is about ending. What goalposts have you set for yourself? And what have you to been able to achieve? There are many people who have set no goalposts for themselves. They wake up and sleep, they wake up and sleep. They didn't tell themselves any day, but in the next two months I will get this. In the next five months I will get this. Set up a goalpost. It makes it easier to know whether you have scored a goal or not. The Lord bless you.